thing is, is that I had to go all the way over there in the middle of the night, cold. It's already starting to get down to those 35 degree below days. And I'm trying to understand what she's talking about is that's enough and that. And then just as I'm almost back and um, because we go back, we get our van, my van we drive and I park we park the Sheila's truck on the outside because that seemed to be some kind of problem that much I understood um, but what later came to a fact is when the restraining orders came into play I got the truth there but that very night still on the 6th I turn around and a lot of my electronics um, thrown out in the weather. I've got about like two thousand dollars worth of damage in electronics, and I'm thinking that maybe I should just let that go and just. But I'm not sure. Depends what what the Andersons do. The Andersons back off and keep their nose out of things. That's fine. I don't know. That will be known by the attorney because, frankly, what happened on the 6th and I believe it was the 7th and part of the 8th. Um, and then also what she did on January 4th of this year, 2022, and on the 7th of January 2022. 22 uh, basically says hey I'm getting a lawyer and I'm doing this I'm going to propose a simple thing she drops her phony ass restraining order I'll drop mine that is valid but in the best interest of everything I'll drop it because I want my section 8 and she should have her section 8 too we should be able to ha be able to work with the Section 8 organization and split the Section 8. Um, she believes that I have a girlfriend. Let her believe what she wants. Um, if she'll do that, I, I'm willing to just say, "Hey, you can have everything in the house," even though I, I I've gotten everything before. Before she met me, she had wound up losing everything almost, and the rest of it she lost within just a, like a little short period of time, either gave it away or something else. And then, uh, well, I helped to gain some of it back that her sister had, in a long story, watch other tapes. And the point is, I'll let her have all of it, minus a couple things that's still in the house. Things that I knew best not to grab when all this drama was going on. Because then she would say, I grabbed a weapon. Yeah. I don't need or want that drama. She has caused that kind of drama to a lot of people. Watch the other tapes. Back to the point. And I will even be willing so that the boy, Sean, stays in a home. And doesn't get all his damn social security money gobbled up by either the rent or her, which will, most of it will go to rent. So they will either suffer in supplies or suffer in other things. I will give them 300 for the boy's sake. You know, since we spent so many years together, I, we were husband and wife, and she wants to go and think that I've got a girlfriend then my girlfriend is the one that's prosecuting me. The same one that the courts just, as I pointed out in the beginning of this one, caused a huge problem with. Um, I'm in charge of everything, as I've um, it, 
first day that I came out uh, with Max, back to that section, it was night then because I had to just drive basically the van and him because he wanted an escort out here because I wanted to turn it all over to him. Have him take it over until I got some actual word uh, from uh, my attorney. Well, I figured that would only take like a couple of days. What to do? And that's not the case. Here it is, like I said, uh, January 18th in just a few more hours. <laughs> Again. And... Uh, Still no answer. Uh, he had to eventually go back home, uh, leaving me in charge of so much that it has already been under a siege and been trying to take in uh, about four or five times the first uh, two weeks of December, and now it's died down only because of a mess of precautions and security measures that I've put into place. Um, but um, I've kept care of the animals, I've kept care of the books. Um, because there was nobody else to actually hand it over to and nobody else uh, as record, and what I did find in records show that uh, my charges, uh, because of new evidence, she wanted to be let go, and it confirmed some of the suspicions that I already had because of timelines that had already been put forth. Um, on top of it, the courts just threw out all these already planned set scenarios they should have said that day no there is this you shall hand it over to Shannon R. Douglas and Shannon R. Douglas shall keep care of it that's not what happened I was led to a slaughter I was led to a guinea pig into something that as far as I can find out doesn't happen. I have been made either inadvertently or on purpose or however it um, custodian, uh, guardian, uh, person in control of all that was, is, be, been, how was Sheila Acosta until further notice and no further notice has been given um, once again I am caught in the same thing that I was done in 2018 but then I actually had a uh, power of attorney in hand signed by Sheila Acosta like she has had one on me all this time too um, the only time mine elapsed was when, for some reason, she was convinced by Carla Loudon to surrender. I don't understand any of that. Uh, I do understand that Carla Loudon did exactly the opposite 